In this tutorial, we are going to practice finding the volume of a cylinder as well as a cone. To find the volume of any cylinder, what we do is we find the area of the cylinder's base, which is a circle, and that can be expressed as pi times radius to the second power, and then we multiply the resulting area by the height of the cylinder, and that will give us our volume. And to find the volume of a cone, we basically do the same thing with one small exception. We will find the area of the cone's base, which is a circle. So we are going to multiply pi times radius to the second power, multiplied by the height of a cone. But we should notice that the volume of a cone would be less than the volume of a cylinder that it would occupy. In fact, the volume of a cone would be one third of the volume of a cylinder. So what we can do is we can multiply by one third or divide by three. If we were to take a look at our cone right here and drop it right inside of our cylinder, we should see that it fits inside nice and snug. And the volume of space that it would occupy inside the cylinder would be one third the volume of the cylinder. Now let's find the volume of the cylinder and we are going to solve in terms of pi to start off with. So what we do is substitute the radius with the number six and we have to raise that to the second power and then we multiply by the height of the cylinder which is equal to 12 centimeters. Next we have to take six to the second power which is 36 and then multiply 36 by 12 which is equal to 432. So what we can do is take this entire value and write it first, and then we are going to write pi afterwards. So the volume of the shown cylinder would be equal to 432 pi cubic centimeters. Now let's find the volume of the cone that is shown inside the cylinder. First, we are going to substitute the radius with the number 6. And that has to be raised to the second power. And the height of the cone is equal to 12 centimeters. So we have to multiply by 12. And then we have to divide this quantity by 3. Now, we already know that 6 to the second power times 12 is 432. However, before we multiply all of this out, we can cancel out this 3 and this 12 because they share a common factor of 3. So let's change this into a 1 and change this 12 into a 4. Now what we can do is take 6 to the second power, which is 36, and multiply that by 4, which is 144. And now we have to take this value and multiply it by pi. Now, if we were expressing in terms of pi, that would be our final answer. We would say the volume of the shown cone is 144 pi cubic centimeters. Now, if you had to use 3.14 for pi, what you would do is you would take 432 and multiply that by 3.14 to find the volume of the cylinder. And for the cone, you would multiply 144 by 3.14 find the volume of the cone. And that is how you find the volume of any cylinder or of any cone.